Hey guys, it's Cameron from Coaster Web here today and welcome to the review of the Smilet. The Smilet is a Gerslauer Infinity coaster that opened in 2013 at Alton Towers. It opened with the record of the most inversions on a road coaster, which it still holds to this day with 14 inversions. The theming for this ride is about several different ways of torturing you, with the overall method being called marmalising. This involves, in the theming, a massive marmalisation machine which has multiple different tentacles which all have an individual purpose, such as spurting laughing gas or tickling you. So then, let's jump right into our on-ride POV and look in the layout in depth. So, as you leave the station, you drop down a small dip slash bank turn, uh, which disorientates you as you go into a heartline roll. You then are braked on the brakes, and you notice the theming to the right and left of you on the walls. It beginning the theming of marmalization and correction of your soul. Um, you always wait for two or three seconds for the chain to start and then up you go. Often you look around you as you go up the chain lift and you see the very compact layout that the Smiler has in obviously trying to fit 14 inversions into a very small space. Two chain lifts as well. It's uh, very interesting how Gersal managed to design this right so well. Now you reach the top of the chain lift. The first drop is a tiny one down to the right and straight into a corkscrew. <coughs> second inversion. Then you dip down and into a dive loop and into another dive loop and then we go over the small airtime hill with the trim brakes into a back wing and we follow through that onto another corkscrew immediately after before we enter the brakes to go up the vertical chain lift. At the top of the vertical chain lift, we now take a drop to the left, where we once again go straight into this corkscrew. We follow many of the same routes as before, but this time we go straight into this boomerang here, over this airtime hill, and then into this other boomerang on the other side. Obviously boomerangs count for two inversions each as two bat ones. And then finally into this double corkscrew to complete our 14 inversion adventure as we slam into the typical Gerstlauer brakes. Now, what I think of this ride? Well, I do believe this ride is the best roller coaster in the UK. I've ridden almost all the roller coasters in the UK um, and in my view this one is the best. The theming is terrifying throughout the entire thing, uh, a very strong theming and very weird and quirky. The layout is amazing how they managed to get it so compact and um, into such a small space, so many inversions, it still amazes me. The smoothness, well, it's, it is a little bit rough. So yeah, in terms of my ratings, the layout, I would rate this a 5 out of 5. The theming, a 5 out of 5. The smoothness, a 3 out of 5. For the overall experience, I'd rate this a 5 out of 5. So that means that I rate this poster an 18 out of 20 in total. Anyways, thanks for watching my review of the Smiler. Post your comments down below whether you agree or disagree with me. Bye.